So this trial was a phase two multi-center international trial in which the combination of 1425 and azacitidine was evaluated in newly diagnosed unfit AML patients. And in this trial, the rara positive patients, that's a novel patient subset characterized by overexpression of the rara gene. These patients um, in our preclinical studies were uh, sensitive to the combination of 1425 and azacitidine. And what we found in this phase two trial was that the rara positive patient subset uh, was sensitive to the 1425 azacitidine combination. We've observed a high uh, complete response rate, a rapid onset of response, and a meaningful duration of response in this patient population. And we're particularly excited about those results because we also found that rara positive patients appear to have a disease phenotype that's associated with resistance to current standard of care therapy. So by um, further developing 1425 and azacitidine in newly diagnosed AML patients, we may be able to uh, provide a therapy to patients uh, in which there's great unmet need and that they may not respond to current standard therapy. So one question we hear from our colleagues is, uh, tell me about the tolerability or safety profile of your combination. And what we found is that the combination of 1425 and azacitidine uh, appears to be generally well tolerated by patients. Um, side effects or adverse events that we see that are do not affect the, the blood counts tend to be low grade and reversible. Um, we often get asked, is uh, SY1425 uh, myelosuppressive? Does it decrease the blood counts and add uh, myelosuppression when combined with azacitidine? And what we find is that uh, 